Hello there, my Scorpio collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh, Scorpio, look at this. This is going to be a Capricorn energy with regard to you. Over top of that is the Knight of Cups. Oh. Ooh, some of you all. King of Pentacles down at the bottom. Okay. Be mindful of your emotional connections. Uh, this is like uh, if you're dealing with some sort of romantic relationship or partnership, be sure that you kind of keep it superficial at first. So there's this sort of energy of once someone gets the opportunity to overwhelm you, it's kind of like the shark energy. Oh, look at that. There's that Piscean vibe too. So there's someone that you're dealing with who definitely, they have some ulterior motives when it comes to a relationship or partnership. Whether you see this or not, Scorpio, it's going to be a whole nother thing. So, I have that. This is like Jaws energy. Don't go in the fucking water. You know what I mean? So, damn. Knight of Cups, this is like a new sort of opportunity coming towards you. So, don't be tempted. There's some temptation here. Those of you that don't like water you can't see the bottom of, there's probably a good reason for that. So those of you, when it comes to a relationship or partnership, you need to have a lot more clarity before you th even think about going there. So I don't, no over-romanticizing anything right now. That's kind of like the siren song. Those of you, if you believe in like uh, mermaid uh, mythology around that. Ooh, so someone's definitely trying to get your attention, but damn... It's a Capricorn energy. Ooh, okay, Scorpios. I don't know. You guys have been sort of skirting in this energy for a while. So, damn. What, what's this about for you? Oh, no, there's the Two of Cups. Okay. Over top of that is a World card. Be mindful of the sort of online energies you're attracting to yourself as well, uh, <laughs> Scorpios. So, damn. If something seems too good to be true, someone seems too good to be true, they are too good to be true. So, how much of you are, how much of you live your life online uh, where that you're, you're kind of like easy prey? This is like in the ocean, right? The, the sort of hierarchy of the fish. How that sort of works. Some of you, make sure that you have some healthy boundaries when it comes to you. There's a chariot. Look at this. All this sort of accelerated energy with you. Trusting your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. Damn it, that ace of fucking pentacles. Oh. Oh my goodness, look at this. Sweet Jesus Scorpio. If something seems too good to be true, for fuck's sake, Scorpios, it is. It is. Lord have mercy, Scorpios. What is this about? Four of Wands, Six of Cups, Page of Cups, Ten of Wands. Stay out of your emotions. Stay out of your feelings right now. There's like so many opportunists around you that you really don't kind of understand. This is almost like the school of fish energy uh, when it comes to this too with you, Scorpio. So there's always more than one. So Scorpio, I don't know if that's just sort of the vibe that you're in, but there's always more than one. So damn Scorpio. But it's kind of like the school of fish, but it's also... Any of you that watch anything dealing with oceanography, right? When you see the, the school of fish and then the, the shark comes in or the well comes in and just sort of swims into it. It's kind of like that energy. I feel like there's a baiting type vibe when it comes to you. If something seems too good to be true, sit your ass down, it is. 
So if you need to be reminded of that, Scorpio, some of you need to maybe pull back your online energy and focus on what is important. So this is catfishing energy. Some of you, this is like the Song of the Siren. Uh, when it comes to romantic relationships or partnerships, some of you, now's not the time to get really deeply involved in a romantic relationship or partnership. The uh, You're going to need more than a bigger boat. This is like Jaws energy for some of you. There's the Emperor energy. There's the Five of Pentacles. And here's the Queen of Pentacles. Lord have mercy. This is almost like, who tells you not to go into the fucking water? Who's going to listen and who doesn't? So some of you, uh, this is kind of like, damn, you've been there, done this before. And there's the Queen of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. This is not going to be for everybody, but some of you don't do masturbation videos. Um, I, I, some of you Scorpios almost feel like you need a sort of a reintroduction to how things work online. Some of you with online dating. There's always more than one with you. So whatever this sort of vibe is, Scorpio, there's there's always more than one. So, Scorpios, make sure you're not just kind of being sort of passed around. Um, not in like the literal sense, but some of you with whatever this sort of vibe is. Especially those of you online dating. So, be mindful of online dating scams. You better be mindful of catfish and energy, too. That like baiting energy there. So, damn. Take what's yours and leave what's not. Scorpio, there's the King of Wands, and there's the sort of Temperance Angel. So, I feel like you got a voice of reason, and then some of you all are like, if someone tells you don't go in the fucking water, don't go in the fucking water. So, this is going to come down to how much you sort of pay attention. Now is not the time to sort of go against common sense. Now is not the time to sort of think that you know better. Now is just not the time for that. Damn, so fucking hell. Fucking hell, Scorpio. You're in good energy. That's why this is going to be something very interesting with you. So those of you that think you've done all the work that you need to do, those of you who think that everything is okay, those of you that kind of... There's a complacency with this when it comes to you, Scorpio. And then, damn, there's just like this bigger opportunity. This is like a, a smaller pond, smaller fish, bigger pond, bigger fish. Uh, some of you, you definitely, you don't need a boat at all because your ass don't need to be out there even in the fucking water. So this is like, uh, who are you going to listen to? Don't let temptation overwhelm you. Some of you, this is like typical sort of energy as well with the five of pentacles there. So if you're doing something new, some of y'all make sure that you're mindful of the sort of energy that you need to, right? Because th this is giving me the vibes, right? Anyone tells you that lives in Florida, if there's water, there's probably a gator in it. So stay the fuck out of the water. Those of you, if there's water you can't see the bottom of, right? Some of y'all stay the fuck out of it. There's so much unknown energy, but some of you Scorpios could be tempted because you think you've done all the work that you need to do. Ooh, Lord have mercy, Scorpios. Take what's yours and leave what's not. That baiting energy, I mean, sweet Jesus. You don't need a bigger boat. You don't even need to be in the fucking water. Damn, those of you that's traveling, sweet Jesus, be mindful of that energy as well. There's like a temptation. So a lot of you Scorpios, the main thing for you is just to sit your ass down now. I don't think you're going to find the right relationship or partnership that's going to bring you emotional fulfillment. Not the way that you think. Some of you feel like you're good. Some of y'all feel like, oh, you know what the hell you're doing. You feel like you've done the work. But actually, it's kind of like opening up a beaver dam. 
a lot of that water just sort of moved downstream. So a lot of you, there's like, a, it's a bigger pond, it's a bigger fish, it's bigger opportunities, right? There's also bigger opportunists as well. Oh, whatever the fuck you got going on here, Scorpio. Some of y'all watch Jaws. Some of you watch any of the movies that deal with, like, uh, the water creatures. Mm. I feel like there's gators in the waters. There's sharks in the water. There's, like, the, the mermaid, the merman type energy in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Take what's yours and leave what's not, Scorpio. You don't need a bigger boat. You need to keep your ass on the shore right now. Be mindful of the temptation as well. Yeah, there's the star energy. That also feels like there's a fool born every minute. So those of you that think you sort of overcome something, I don't really think that you have. That's what's going to make the difference. Damn, why is this like the siren song? I don't, I'm not aware of all the sort of uh, the sort of mermaid type uh, TV shows or movies out there. That's not my thing. But those of you, if you're kind of familiar with that, it's kind of like that. It definitely feels like that for you. Especially those of you in newer energy, especially those of you that should know better. The emotional sort of connections right now should be off limits with you. You should definitely have a hesitation. You should definitely be more mindful of sort of what that vibe is about. Um, this is like if you're chartering a boat, but you have no idea what the rules of the water are. What the fuck are you even doing? Uh, this is like don't go jumping into a body of water that you're not aware of. There's so many things that you might not see. Some of you, I feel like this is in regards to relationships or partnerships. Especially those of you that feel like you've done all the work. But you notice there's no water energy here. So this is like you decide to go skinny dipping, but you're not quite sure what the fuck's in the water. <laughs> Lord have mercy. There's definitely a relationship or partnership that's sort of wanting your attention. That's for damn sure. Uh, whether you're going to sort of focus on that, it's up to you. Smart money would be no. Because uh, you're not quite sure. It is that energy, right? Anyone from Florida tells you if there's water, there's probably a gator in it. So stay the fuck out of it. It's kind of, should be common sense. But don't let yourself be sort of overwhelmed here. Those of you traveling, if you're online dating and you're traveling, uh, some of you be more mindful of uh, uh, the sort of vibes there. Especially those of you that think you're good. Because I feel like it's like a switch up in energy. But damn, you don't need to be in the water. Especially if you're not sure what the fuck it's even all about. So someone's wanting you to let your guard down. Someone's wanting you to sort of... Uh, uh, this almost could make you feel like you're invincible as well. I, mean, I guess it's kind of appropriate. We're into summer energy here. So those of you, now's not the time to do anything stupid. Especially if it's in regard to water. Because that water may seem rather still on the surface, but there's undercurrents, there's undertoes, there's so many things that you're not aware of that could make you sort of take an opportunity you don't need to. Some of you are not going to find the emotional fulfillment that you want. It's more of a, someone's after something. Damn. Don't be a tourist and don't, don't do anything unnecessary right now. Yeah, that's the fucking truth with the Ace of Swords right there. That's like algae energy. You don't want to spend time by the ocean and you have the algae that sort of washes up. There's so much that you don't see. So, damn. You're going to do you, Scorpio, but now is not the time. There's so many things you can't see. You don't need a bigger boat. You need to keep your ass on the shore. Uh... Any of you that watch anything that deals with, like, uh, the mermaid, the merman type videos or TV shows. Yeah, sit your ass on shore, enjoy the sun, go for a nice walk. Now's not the time for any, some of you, any of those romantic relationships or partnership, right? Especially if you're traveling somewhere. Those of you on the dating sites that's traveling
those of you that think this definitely feels like if you're traveling, you're doing something new, you're in a place that's new. If you don't know the rules of the water, don't get on a fucking boat. Definitely don't try to drive the boat. Some of you get out of the water. If you're not kind of sure what that's even about, there's so much that you don't know. Don't. Don't. King of Pentacles. Don't. Now's not the time. Now's not the time. Bottom of the deck, the hangman energy there with the hermit. There's so many things that you don't see. So this now's not the time for any unnecessary risks. Now's not the time for any unnecessary anything when it comes to you. I mean, this is appropriate. We are in summer summertime. So those of you, if you're not aware of the rules of the water, right? Be mindful of all that energy. Some of you with relationships or partnerships. Those of you, when it comes to swimming in a new body of water, maybe take your time till you kind of know what the fuck you need to know. Because even though it looks calm on the surface, there's undercurrents, there's undertoes, there's things that you're not seeing. Some of you, when it comes to a relationship or partnership, there's just like a... It's, it's not going to be a good opportunity for you, so some of y'all just sit your ass down. <laughs> Take what's your Scorpio and leave what's not. This should be pretty common sense. But, damn, those of you that think you've done the work, this is like a bigger opportunity, so it's a bigger pond. So, you're dealing with different sort of vibes. This is like you swimming in the dam, and the next thing you know, you got a 150-pound uh, carp brushing up against you. Scare the bejesus out of you, right? Those of you swimming in the ocean, and who knows what the fuck might brush up against you. Some of you, these relationships are partnerships. Don't be scammed or swindled right now. And for fuck's sake, if something or someone seems too good to be true, sit your ass down, they are. You got the devil two of pentacles here. So this is someone who's really kind of indecisive. So you're more likely to make kind of uh, not so smart decisions. Uh, it, it's, it's not like it, it, there's like a counterintuitive and then there's your sort of intuition. So you're going back and forth when it comes to something. And you really that's not even something that you should have to be sort of debating within yourself. Uh, it's like, you know, better you know better. You should always sort of have some sort of precaution in place when it comes to you. So especially when it comes to the decisions that you make. The page of wands there to the eight of cups. Some of you turning down the overly passionate connections. So, damn. If something seems too good to be true, it is. Someone is definitely trying to get you to change your mind about something. Oh no, the water's great. Come in. There's the three of one. This is sort of the attitude you need to take. The surfer knows how to read the surf. So they can tell where uh, the things are they need to pay attention to. The rip currents. They know if they should be out in that water or not. And they're smart enough to not go in. So, damn. I don't care whatever the hell someone wants to call you. If you're not feeling safe going into the water, quote unquote, then don't. There's the Three of Cups vibe. Yeah, there's some stuck, stagnant energy. But damn. Those of you dealing with a lot of karmic uh, energies, those of you that got a lot of karmic exes, Lord have mercy. Move through that energy. Yeah, some of y'all sit your ass down. There's probably a voice of reason, too. Um, four of <laughs> The Lord, Four of Pentacles. <sighs> If you're traveling, especially if you're in a new sort of area, be mindful of the scam energy as well. So, damn. This is like scam artist energy. So, sweet Jesus Scorpio. There's the Capricorn energy. There's the Page of Cups. There's the Five of Pentacles. There's the Six of Wands. Those of you think you've accomplished something, those of you that think you've overcome some sort of energy... 
So you could be feeling a little sort of a... What's the word on this? A little too cocky, a little too sort of self-assured. Like you kind of know what you need to know. This is genderless. So this is like friends energy when it comes to you. This is like, it could be romantic relationships or partnerships. Some of you have overcome that, but you still got that. So this is like an undercurrent type vibe. So whether you're smart enough to avoid that or not, it's like the three of wands. I love this card because the surfer knows how to read the surf. They know where the rip currents are. Uh, they can go into the water because they're aware of what they need to be aware of. So now's not the time for you to sort of venture into anywhere where you're not sure. So be mindful of... Um, the sort of group mentality here, be mindful of that sort of vibe. Some of y'all, the group energies you're around kind of allow you to do stupid things. So damn, you've overcome a lot, but there's still some sort of temptation energy around you. Some of you, it's the X energy. So damn, that's like a straggler vibe. That's like a straggler vibe. Some of you, this is don't get played. So if you're traveling, don't get fucking played. Know, uh, know where you're going and know what you need to be mindful of. And that should be straight-ass common sense. Some of you definitely be mindful of uh, your sort of online dating as well. If you need that conversation, you probably need a refresher and kind of uh, basic sort of... Uh, knowledge that you should know. Yeah, there's this sort of magician energy. So there's a lot of temptation when it comes to you. But damn, you're going to have to sit your ass down. You're going to have to sit your ass down. Those of you, when you're dealing with like water energy, uh, which water? Water translates into like romantic relationships or partnerships. Things can seem very good on the surface. But you're not quite sure what that undertow is. You're not quite sure what that undercurrent is. Uh, you're not quite sure what's in the fucking water, for fuck's sake, right? What do they say? Anyone that lives in Florida, if there's a body of water, there's probably a fucking uh, crocodile or alligator in it, whatever the fuck they have down there. So some of you, this is like straight-ass common sense. If you can't read the energy, then you, your ass don't need to be there. Definitely be mindful of peer pressure energy, too. So, damn. Those of you that think you've overcome something, there's still a stuck stagnant energy. Some of you definitely gave the sort of Capricorn vibe a run for their money, but there's still this sort of uh, energy around you because you have sort of overaccomplished something. Now's not the time to be overly confident. Now's not the time to get cocky. Because some of you, if you upgrade, you're just in a bigger fucking pond. It's like bigger fish. It's like bigger sort of uh, things that you should be more concerned about, right? Lord have mercy, Scorpio. All this water energy with you. Some of you, now is not the time to overwhelm yourself with a romantic relationship or partnership. Some of you say the fuck out the fucking water. So that's going to be whatever is fitting for you. Aries there at that Aquarius star. Some of you, like, you know better. So this is like the opportunity or the sort of energy of, like, hold my beer. So be mindful of peer pressure energy as well. Those of you, when it comes to a group dynamic, do you really trust the sort of group dynamic that you're in? Lord have mercy. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Take what's yours and leave what's not. But damn. Definitely don't go against your intuition. If some of you have to think that much or you're overly concerned about something, it kind of feels like you need to make sure that you have some sort of safety uh, energy going on. Those of you, if you're doing a lot of traveling and online dating, let people know where the fuck you're going. Uh, some of you don't need to be doing that shit right now. If something or someone seems too good to be true, sit your ass down, they are. Um, there's this, this sort of, I don't know. You think you've overcome something, but you really haven't. 
those of you that have upgraded, you're just in a sort of bigger pond, a bigger opportunity. So everything is different. A lot of you, the sort of uh, things you need to concern yourself with are bigger than what you were used to. So like uh, swimming in the creek versus swimming in the ocean is two different fucking things, right? Damn. Damn, Scorpio. Oh, some of y'all sit your ass down. Now's not the time for anything unnecessary. Be mindful of peer pressure energy. Those of you, if you've upgraded, you're just in a bigger pond. So you're looking at things from a different perspective. I feel like you get blessings when you use common sense. So this is like you get the chance to go on the perfect vacation, but your ass is doing like stupid things that you shouldn't be doing. So you're like the opportunist. This is like you're traveling around somewhere new and you're flashing all your cash. You're wearing all your best. So you're kind of like a, you're standing out. So everyone knows that you're probably, you're new to the area. Brush up on anything that you need to brush up on. This is common sense. This is if you're traveling. Know the scams you need to be aware of. Those of you, if you're online dating, if something or someone seems too good to be true, they are. Someone could definitely be playing you for money. So, damn. You've overcome so much. So a lot of you could be feeling a little overconfident or a little over cocky because you feel like you know what it is that you're doing, but you're very susceptible to peer pressure. And so you're likely to make some rather not so smart decisions. Some of y'all need more of a relaxing type uh, vacation. Stay out of the fucking water. Stay away from some of y'all emotional connections, especially if you're in a new area. Make sure you don't get played. Some of y'all still have some messy X energy around you. You're like the perfect opportunity, which is good. But for some of you, it also makes you like uh, the perfect opportunity for someone to take advantage of. Some of it is only about money here. So some of y'all, if you're traveling, it's all about the money. Some of y'all really, who the fuck are you even dealing with? If something or someone seems too good to be true, they are. I love this energy with you. You're in good vibes, but now's not the time for anything unnecessary. Some of you say the fuck out of the water. That could be just for health reasons. Especially if you're not sort of able to read the, the water. So you don't really know what the fuck it is you're doing. If you don't know the laws of the water, then don't try to drive a fucking boat. If you're not aware of the water, the depth and all that, stay the fuck out of the fucking water. Some of you, it's a bigger pond, bigger fish. So the opportunities are different. Some of y'all saw the fish are different. Some of you could get brushed up against by a, you know, 150 pound carp or catfish or something. And that'll scare the shit out of you. Some of you be mindful of that sort of siren song. Any of you that like any of the sort of mermaid, merman type uh, uh, movies. I don't know. It feels almost like horror stories. Don't go into the fucking water. So take what's yours, leave what's not. And that's like literal and metaphorical for some of you Scorpios, right? Some of you relationships or partnerships now. If something or someone seems too good to be true, they fucking are. Some of y'all are still dealing with some stuck, stagnant karmic energy. You're dealing with more than one. So some of you, if you're doing anything online, uh, be mindful. Be mindful. Some of you are definitely getting played. So, I don't know. This is the level of your sort of intelligence and the level of your sort of uh, street smartness, your wiseness, your ability to make smart decisions. Those of you avoiding peer pressure energy. Common sense. Some of you definitely be mindful of rip currents and undertoes. They're probably the same thing, right? But there's 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 so much that you need to be aware of. 
Definitely be mindful of the temptation. I don't care if they call you pussy, chicken, shit, whatever the fuck. Uh, some things you don't need to do. So if you're more susceptible to peer pressure, don't put yourself in that energy. Good luck, God bless, like, share, subscribe, Scorpio. I don't know. It's good. Don't fuck up a good opportunity. Don't fuck up a good vacation by doing stupid shit. That some of you aren't even interested in doing. It's like peer pressure energy. Something or someone seems too good to be true. They are. You should know that by now. Sit your ass down because you've accomplished so much. But damn. You're in good energy, but you're also like uh, someone that sort of could be easy target for uh, pickpockets or scam artists. So, you know what I mean? Be aware of your environment. Be aware of what you need to be aware of. And if you don't know something, then don't partake in it. And that's pretty much how it goes here. <laughs> I like this energy, but damn, that's not the time to make stupid decisions. Take what's yours, leave what's not. Some of you are definitely your friends group. If you're friends group, maybe you're kind of better off doing your own thing. Ooh. Good luck, God bless, like, share, subscribe, Scorpio. Peace, love, and light.